the team at USV uh, invests where they're passionate, where they think the market's going. So let's just maybe start things off by where do you think the market is going in 2015 broadly? Well, I think there are a few sectors that um, look particularly interesting to us. Um, so I don't know if you were asking about like the the fundraising market or like sectors. 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 So uh, I think healthcare um, is is a really interesting market because of things like uh, wearable devices and smartphones and uh, more information becoming available. Um, I could go on and on about that trend, but that's a trend that we really like. We have a company in Toronto called Figure One that some of you might know. That's uh, one of our investments in that sector. So that's an area we really like. We like blockchain-based uh, companies. We think that the blockchain is sort of like this awesome peer-to-peer -peer database um, that you can build all kinds of things on top of. And so we've been investing pretty actively there. Um, we also like, um, this is sort of a contrarian bet, but we like um, sort of next-gen internet access technologies. Uh, I think it's still um, too expensive and too limited in terms of choice and options to, to get high bandwidth access to the internet on, on your mobile devices. And, and there are gonna be new kinds of internet access that's gonna have to get invented for things like the Internet of Things to work. So that's an area that we really like a lot. Um, we're uh, invested in a company in the drone sector, but I think drones are an example of robotics, uh, and I just think drones in some ways are a little bit easier to get into market because they, they don't interface with as much physical physicality um, because they fly. Um, but robotics in general and drones in, in particular, and then um, I think virtual reality and augmented reality are interesting. We haven't made any investments there. We don't have a thesis around that yet. Um, but those, those are some of the areas that I think we, we're interested in and I think a lot of people in the venture business are interested in right now. Awesome. So Ted, obviously you spend a lot of time thinking about social space, chat, communication. Um, tell me where you think that's going, you know, especially in light of big acquisitions and consolidation in the space. Um, yeah, that's all. Um, so for us, it's... We think a lot about chat. Um, we always thought chat was like the killer app of mobile. Um, we were sort of early in thinking that, but it became really clear to everybody when Facebook paid $22 billion for WhatsApp. Uh, but the thing we're thinking about now is what you could build on top of chat. And really what we're looking at as a model for that is what's happening in China uh, with WeChat. And so for those of you that know WeChat, it's the super popular chat app in China. But the cool thing now is they've opened up these things called official accounts where anybody can open up an official account on WeChat it could be for your business or your game or whatever. And they've actually gotten to the point now where there are more official accounts being opened on WeChat every day than there are websites being put on the internet. So they are the new internet, WeChat is the new internet. So the thing we think a lot about is, um, we're a top app in, in the US, like if you, well Fred, he opens his, his iPhone, he goes to the App Store, Kick is higher in the App Store in the US than Twitter and Pinterest, it's number 15 overall because uh, we're really popular with the youth. And the question we're asking is, could we leverage that popularity to do sort of the WeChat platform play um, in the US? Uh, sort of these official accounts as the next sort of interface for consumer apps. Awesome. So Fred, you talk about how USV invests in networks. It's a very common thesis. Um, is that what drove the investment in Kik? Um, and how has kind of the thinking evolved since you first got involved with the company? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we always thought that mobile messaging was a network-based uh, opportunity. The more people that are on a mobile messenger, the more people who want to get on a mobile messenger. It's classic. It's almost textbook. Uh, but I, I think, as Ted said, uh, we've, we've seen from 2010 to 2015 um, that there are five or ten big chat platforms now on the mobile uh, phones around the world, and, and I think the market positions have more or less been established. And so the question now is, what kinds of businesses can you build on top of those platforms? And, and that's why uh, we're excited about what, what Kik is uh, going to do with, with their platform. Okay. So one of the things that Union Square Ventures does is invest in a small number of companies. 
Um, and part of the rationale, from my understanding, is because it gives you an opportunity to spend more time, more resources. And I just, maybe from the kick side of the house, what's it like working with USV? What's been the experience of, of the other side of that? Yeah, um, so what's it like to work with USV? Part of it is like, what's it like to work with the VC in general? Part of it is what's it like to work with USV? Um, we sort of started working with uh, Fred during our Series A back in early 2011. And, you know, Kick had just gone through this huge hype cycle and then had gotten uh, kicked off BlackBerry. So we were the first ones on iPhone, Android, BlackBerry with a great experience and using your address book to instantly onboard you. And then BlackBerry turns around and kicks us off their platform. And all of a sudden, we're SMS without BlackBerry support. So our growth just plummets. Um, I don't know why he did it at the time, but he still decided to invest in, in spite of that. Um, but it meant that it was sort of like, oh, don't worry, we can build a big app on just iPhone Android. For the first year, that turned out not to be true. Like, I'm pretty sure Fred's like, shit, what did we do? What did we do? We shouldn't have done that. Um, so I think there was, like, there was some tension to start, and I was trying to figure out how to work with uh, VCs. But over time, I think the key thing, I said this to Fred, I don't know, maybe six months ago, is like, you start to like realize just how good the Union Square Ventures guys are. Like you meet a lot of VCs, and a lot of them are sort of like okay, but they don't really get it. Um, and you realize just like how much the USV guys like actually get it and care. Um, so it's been really helpful and cool. <laughs>